distancing. And uh, any concerns about the agenda, guys? I approve. I make a motion to approve the agenda. Oh, sorry. oh sorry. I did not get the fireworks permit, so take that off. Okay. So with the fireworks permit removed, I will approve the agenda. Second. Did the, on the fireworks permit, were they wanting that for this week? Yep. So if he actually took it to uh, Beaver, he should still get it. Beaver could still be. Yeah. All right. I sent him an email. I said I never received it. So. Okay. All right. Any more discussion? Without that, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. And so that uh, the agenda is approved, taking off the um, fireworks permit. Okay, how about the minutes? I see you made the correction, didn't you, Lowell? Yes. So moved. Seconded. And I guess I have it. Oops. I assume you did mine too. Yep. Okay. Uh, any further discussion? Assuming none. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, the minutes are approved. County Attorney, are you on the line? Yes, I am. What you got for me? us today? Yes, we can hear you, Mark. Yeah. 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 Russ Kephart's trial on Friday. Uh, everything went fine. Uh, the magistrate just hasn't issued a, a decision yet. Oh, okay. Who uh, represented him? He represented himself. Oh, okay. He didn't have any witnesses, and he didn't have anybody else there with him. Okay. Anything else for us, Mark? No, but I have a quick question. When is the recycling center out by the conservation open? Is that open today? Yes. Okay. They really should get their signs updated. Uh, uh, he's been opening up at 7 in the morning, closed over noon from 12 to 1. Quite often he's back already by 12.30, but uh, uh, supposed to be closed 12 to 1, and then he's back until about 5, so uh, five days a week. Stan, would you mind asking if they would update those for the public? Yeah, because, I mean, it uh, basically says uh, Wednesday through Saturday, 8 to 12, 1 to 5. And, and it's uh, a little different. A little different. Yeah, well, uh, we want it accurate so they're not going out there needlessly. And uh, uh, here in the last couple of weeks, uh, apparently a trailer broke down for the uh, recycling people over at Lake Mills, and so they were glad to get the, our our cans and that we were able to take as many as four trips a week where we before was only possibly getting one we got pretty well caught up and and uh, so we don't have a lot of stuff uh, tying up buildings and that so that was good okay. and uh, hey, hey. I, I just got some general information Stan had called with a question for me and just so all the supervisors know this I you know, we've always been saying, gosh, we should be able to find either an easement or a deed or something when uh, we got the right of way to build a road. Um, and it looks like uh, I went back and got some old county attorney opinions that uh, a lot of times there really wasn't a deed. It was just dedicated when the county was dedicated. That portion was dedicated for roads. And in that situation, all the county has is an easement on the property. They do not actually own the road. And why that's important is because if the county abandons the road, it automatically goes one half to each adjoining property owner. So the county can't say, we're going to abandon this road and then we're going to sell it. Um, if it's just an easement, when you abandon the road, it goes back to the uh, adjoining property owners. So I've been looking for things all these years and was never able to find one until I 
I found the answer that most of the time the, the, the Attorney General's opinion said those aren't going to exist. They were just in the dedication when the, when the county was dedicated. Okay, no wonder you couldn't find them. Well, part of the reason that Mark's bringing this up is I had a phone call uh, last week. And uh, on the state line, uh, about a mile, mile and a half uh, east of uh, uh, the Otrano Blacktop up there, uh, there's a uh, county road called Bridal. I believe that's yeah. the name of it. Yep. And uh, as a kid, I drove on that. But we, uh, ab we abandoned that. No, it's not abandoned. It, it's. Uh, took the sign down. Well, right now, classified as legal, not open. Because I helped take no the sign down. And I remember the sign being up, but in any event, uh, trees have grown up on it. You couldn't drive down it if you wanted to in that. But uh, an individual may want to buy some river property uh, down there, and he was wondering about uh, uh, did the county have an obligation to uh, open that road? Or does the county, uh, could uh, the county uh, give him a title somehow and so on and so forth? And, uh, it belongs to the and, landowners. Uh, no, right now, Mark, it uh, still belongs to the county, doesn't it? Uh, as far as I know, and Rich, correct me if I'm wrong, it may have been practically abandoned, but it's never been legally abandoned by the, the county and the case law is clear that says mere uh, not using it does not constitute abandonment. There has to be an official proceeding where we publish notice and we have a hearing and uh, then it's abandoned, but not until then. So I think the, the practical answer is the county's abandoned it, but legally they have not. Correct. Right now, according to the DOT on our roadway system, it's classified as a legal road but not open, which for obvious reasons is not open. Um, obviously, for that many years, we haven't used it. We don't need it. It would be good just to get rid of it out of our system altogether because it serves no purpose for us. And so it, it, still, it still has right-of-way. Um, we still have right-of-way, but we don't need it. And so it's legal but not open. Yeah, that, that was one of them rows that I think it was Hyde that take the sign down. What did you say the name of that one? Br Bridal. Bridal. But uh, this individual is looking into buying some property, and so uh, he may want to come to the board in the future and ask to uh, have us sell. Legally abandoned? Or no. Sell it. To, to sell the easement. Okay. So that he could own the that he would have access to that property. Okay. I assume you've already told him that. As long as that's legit, I don't know, you know, the land uh, Yeah, and I, I'm not so sure that can be done after reading these opinions, because it's either a county road and the county maintains it, or if we legally abandon it, um, then it reverts to the adjoining property owners uh, I, I would say if we're going to do that, we'll put the burden on him if he wants to do it to say, okay, we're going to sell you the easement, but if you're not getting anything, that's your tough luck. Well, Mark, my understanding is that if we had fee title to that property, then we would put it up. We could right. sell it, but we still have to do it with a public, you know, yeah. we have to give the public, anyone, anyone in the public, the option to purchase it. If we have just a, a, a the right of way easement that it's not really ours to sell, it's just ours to give back to the adjoining pet property owners. That would be my interpretation. Mine as well. Okay. Anything else for us, Mark? I do not. Okay. Well, who would who would we check the uh, uh, on that, Mark? Uh, if we could actually sell an easement like that or not? Is that I, I would tell him he needs to contact his own attorney because we're not going to make any, as soon as we say, oh yeah, we can sell it to you, and then it turns out he doesn't have title, then he's going to sue the county. So, you know, he needs, you know, our, our theory has always been, we'll, we'll sell you this property or we'll give you this property, but you're, you're responsible.
responsible for all of your legal fees, you know, and the publication expenses and things like that. So he should consult with his own attorney. And, so, and I don't know which property he's looking to build on, but depending on which property is out there, um, there may need to be some agreements with adjacent landowners just for easement to get a driveway to certain parts if there is, it depending, like I said, depending on which property you have. So maybe the individual could, could talk to the adjacent landowners and say, well, since this is already a right-of-way, can I just have an easement to run the existing roadway right-of-way if it's ever abandoned? I mean, there's certain things that he can do to work with the locals too. Because right now that property is, is not valuable to anybody at this point in time when it's full of trees. Is that correct, Mark? I don't want to speak out. But. Yeah, it could very easily be agreed to that he goes with the adjoining property owners and said, okay, let's reach an agreement. Let's ask the county to abandon the road, in which case it'll go to, you know, you and you. I'm just making an assumption there's only two. And you continue to use it for access to your uh, fields, and I can use it to access my property. I mean, if, if it would, requires them all to agree, but I don't know why they wouldn't. That would become an, an easement then for him to use to get to his property. But That's a private right. one means the landowners. The county would just abandon the road. The private landowners would make an agreement uh, between themselves as to maintenance and who can use it and for what and things like that. But it then becomes a private road. That answer your questions, Stan? Uh, more or less. Okay. All right. Let's move on then. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Uh, is the sheriff on the line? Probably not. Okay, that's okay. I'm just going to quick. Um, we got a letter uh, saying that um, the Mitchell County Jail was inspected virtually to make sure it's up to Iowa code and uh, it included an examination of staff training records required documents and prisoner files and they are definitely in compliance with this um, chapter 50 of the Iowa jail standards so I just thought I'd mention that okay Rich your turn not a lot to discuss this morning. I think Mark covered a, a, a good portion of what maybe I had on my mind, but um, we got some good weather this week. We're going to do some, continue to do some ditch cleans, probably try to run an excavator real quick at the end of the season, uh, try to catch up on some things, um, get the road squared away before it starts to freeze again. So we're doing our winter prep and hauling salt in and mixing and, and getting everything ready to go for winter still. So. Do you guys have any questions for him? I have none. Nope. Okay, thank right. you. Thank you, Rich. Thank you, Rich. You're welcome. Okay, I had a couple of meetings. Uh, workforce development. Um, they chose Amber Youngblood and Jennifer Brister as chair and vice chair for the local board. And uh, we have no objections to that. And uh, the local uh, board had a meeting on October 30th. And uh, it was after the Cleo's meeting. So I, I don't really have the results of that yet. Uh, Carolyn, our secretary, gave her resignation. She wants to concentrate on her main job, and she has elderly parents. Uh, Let's see, Heather Garcia, uh, she will send us her full com comprehensive contract as executive director for us to look over. Uh, Bylaws are more thorough, making sure that new appointments um, can be done within 60 days and, and certain procedures are in place for re re-signings, reassignings. The annual meeting was moved from May to January, we had to delete the local workforce having alternates because it would have put us out of compliance if they were no longer gender or politically balanced. We have criteria in place. If they missed three consecutive meetings, they would be replaced. 
I also had uh, Substance Abuse Coalition. Uh, let's see. Jay had scheduled uh, time for Prime for Life in Osage schools with two, in actually two different semesters starting in December. And he's going to contact Riceville about doing it there too. Uh, he's moving to Mason City, so he'll be driving from there. Uh, Rusty started our tips training for bartenders, but he has sold his business uh, to Chelsea Michaels. So Amy's going to contact Chelsea to see if she wants to be involved. It was suggested that we contact legislators, invite them to a meeting in the future, but we need to prepare for that first when, before we decide when to ask them to see what all we want to actually work on. Okay, I'm done. I had no meetings. Okay. Lowell, do you have some manure management updates? Anders Knudsen at 5044 Highway 218 St. Annesburg. Okay, that's it, huh? Okay, would you put on next week's um, agenda? I've been working on our, our um, appointments book, and we have several that were um, done November 1st, and then several coming up on December 31st. So I'm working on getting them pre replaced, and then I'll, I'll tell you how I come out next week so we can vote on them. I'll put board appointments down. Yes, please. And then, Lowell, I need to ask you, how, how do they do that with the hospital board? Do they take care of that themselves? Because they've got a few people. Those are elected. Yes, but, but how? What's that, that all, we'll find out today. Okay. Yeah, that's how that's taken care of. Okay, so we, don't, no we don't need to do anything. Only if there's a Good. vacancy that they have an appointment. Good. So what appointments are up? For any of it, uh, we had the Judicial Magistrate Commission. Um, all three of them were up, but I think all three of them will take it again. I'm just waiting to hear back from one. Uh, Jolene Norby has already said that she would take again on, on Board of Health, and then my term would be up, but we'll see who takes my place. You know, aren't those the end of December? Um, yes, some of these, are, those are the end of December, and some of those were November, though. Um, that was the hospital board. Uh, what, I have one person I'm planning and zoning, but she was sick, so she um, said call back in a week or two and she'll let me know if she wants to get off or stay on. And I think that's it. Yeah. So most of them are just probably going to take it up again. I'll let you know if we need to look for somebody. I'll let both of you know. I'll just report on our voting. We have done record turnouts for early voting. We had, as at, as at 5 o'clock yesterday, we had 3,593 people either request or vote early. So we had 48% of our registered voters have voted early. Wow. Uh, we had 184 yesterday. Uh, the last three days, Friday was 168, Saturday was 121, and 184. So You've kept busy. That's over 20 people an hour. And part of the while yesterday, I thank Renee for, she was by herself because the rest of us yeah. were setting up. And uh, then when I come back, I, we were just swamped the rest of the day. Yeah, I, I we couldn't even sit that. down. She was very busy, yes, I saw that. And it looks like they're busy today. Yep. Yeah. So it's going to be a record turnout, I'm sure, across the country. Yep. Yeah. Do we have any public comments about anything? Yes, Mayor. Oh, um, yeah, I was a couple minutes late here. You probably have dealt with it already, but uh, it says approval of fireworks permit. 
Uh, the person didn't get back to us. Didn't okay. actually. Okay. What is the criteria for the penalty? Uh, well, they, they they go through through Lowell, but they can go through the sheriff technically too. Yes. Yeah, so I had a call a few days ago about possibly one doing in December in St. Ansgar. Yeah. And, and, and I said well, if that's, that's being what I'm questioning because she wants uh, the blessing of the council, and I want to know what's involved. We just have a form wise. and have a proof of a liability insurance. And I told her, if you're going to shoot them off there by the high school, they need to get the permission from you because it's inside your city right. limits. Does the county permit require a professional shooter to do this, or can any uh, Yankee Doodle Dandy do it? Anybody can do it. As long as they have insurance. That sounds risky. Well, what about traffic and such? If we put it on the edge of St. Andrew, we're probably going to have a lot of cars traveling to view it, just like they do at Mitchell, so the uh, city would have to take care of uh, traffic control then? Yep. It's not a county issue. If it's in the city, it's not a county issue. We shouldn't even uh, be just, I mean... But if they do it on the south edge of St. Ansgar, at Mitchell, they park on every gravel road there is, and some of the black... Oh, I don't know if the county ever does anything with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On yeah, the 4th of July. Yeah. But it's going to be in the vicinity of A38 and T26. And what do we do if they're parking out on the highway to do this? That's just an issue that I can see as a liability. Probably something you'd want to talk to the sheriff's department about. Okay. And probably your local police. Okay. Well, I just want to be prepared for it. Sure. And if you want to see a copy of our form that we use, you can get it from all. It's on okay. the county website, too. Oh, it's on the website too. Okay. okay, well, we'll look at it on the website. Uh, there you go. Make sure that we're covering all the bases with the whole sure. to do it. Thank you. Okay, anything else? Is the driver's license place open again or no? No, no. Um, no. they have a, a, some COVID involved, and um, uh, Shannon will probably be back tomorrow or the next day, but not sure exactly when. Okay, anything else from the public? Okay, this meeting is adjourned.